What is going on guys? Welcome back to the top 100 NFL players of 2023 Rugby Player Reacts version. Um, I have just had a fucking monstrous weekend on the piss, on the drink, drinking alcohol from, well not from dusk till dawn, but uh, from dawn till dusk actually, on Saturday at least. Today's Monday. Today is officially the fifth day of reactions that we're doing on this series. We're halfway through. We're at we're at number 50. Sorry, guys. It might be a struggle for me to get going today. It may be a little struggle, but I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm here for the second half of the top 100 NFL players of 2023. As of this moment, 90 players have been released. But today we focus on number 50. Number 50 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2023, Cameron Jordan. And he's always there or thereabouts. Defensive end for the Saints. He's a... He's a He's a fun-loving guy. He's a fucking... He's a unit. An absolute unit. And uh, before we get into the video, let's have a look at his stats, watch the video, and then place him on a rugby team. Cameron Tyler Jordan. Not to be confused with Jordan Cameron. Well, thanks, Wikipedia. Um, July 10th, 1989. Age 34, currently. 6 foot 4, 287 pounds. That's 130 kgs flat uh, for those on this side of the world. Went to California, the California Golden Bears. From 2007 to 2010, got picked up in the first round of the 2011 draft with pick number 24 to the Saints, and he's been at the Saints ever since. He made his one and only first team All Pro selection in 2017, a two time second team All Pro selection in 2018 and 19, an eight time Pro Bowler, 13, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22, so that was including last year. He made the NFL 2010's all-decade team, and I've seen that before, but every single time I do, not as if it surprises me, it's just, I mean, what a what a veteran. What a quality veteran. So he ran a 478 40-yard dash, and at six foot four, six foot five, 287 pounds, that's fucking moving. 31 inches in the vertical, nine foot nine on the broad jump, 25 reps on the bench, and a Wikipedia profile as long as a laundry list. Look at that. Look at that. If you want consistency, 16 games played every single year of his 12-year career, bringing his total to 192. 639 combined tackles, 424 solo, 215 assisted, 115.5 sacks, including 8.5 last year. Two forced fumbles, two passes deflected. The man is all about football. Literally three days ago, guys, on August 4th, 2023, the Saints signed Jordan to a two-year contract extension worth 20, oh, sorry, with $27.5 million guaranteed, keep, keeping him under contract through the 2025 season. And through the 2025 season, he will be 36 years of age and most probably a first ballot Hall of Famer. All right, guys, let's get into the video. He's always on the list. He's always, you know, he's always a character. He's, always, he's um, I'm surprised we haven't seen him yet, but uh, I assume... I mean, look at that handlebar moustache. That is something else. Do you call that a moustache? Do you call that a goatee? 34 years of age. Been in the league since 2011. Top 100 this year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like I'm always a unicorn. <laughs> I'm playing first, second down just as well as I play third down. There's only so many complete defensive ends, and I think um, clear cut. Nice little improvement. Later in his career, means he's doing all the right things. Is Cam Jordan a top 100 player? Cam, Cam Jordan might be a top 100 player all the time. He is that incredible, consistent, longevity, production. And I mean, yeah, talk about longevity. I've really only followed him during my tenure of reacting to this series. I can only imagine how dominant he would have been as like a 22, 23, 24-year-old. Just hungry as hell, just trying to prove himself in the league. Came in as a starter, got picked up in the first round, as we saw. And he hasn't left. Energy. Is he a quiet player? No. Hey! Let's go, baby! He's not a quiet player, person, place, or thing. You're going to hear him before you see him. Don't turn me down. Turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up. <laughs> Oh, mate, way to stay alive. Way to stay alive. Way to keep your eyes on the target. Seek and destroy. Do you see the lateral movement at 130 kilograms, 6 foot 4, 6 foot 5? Through year after year. 
How consistent has Cam Jordan been? In 2022, he joined Hall of Famers Reggie White and John Randall as the only players in NFL history with at least seven and a half sacks in 11 straight seasons. Seven and a half in 11 straight seasons. Was it his first year that he missed out? It was his first year. He played 16 games, wasn't a starter, I don't think, and he got one sack. Little did people know <laughs> that he would have, at the conclusion of the 2022 season, 115 and a half sacks. Well, maybe they did know. Guarantee he did. I don't know how but there's been talk that like he's kind of taking a step off with age and there's just no way he's still just relentless you know playing him that's always hard you got to get your mind right for that one you feel very beat up after that game i know i'm, I'm always sore just because it's like you don't see you know as often anymore guys at his size coming off the edge like that wanting to run through you with power i don't know whether that was holding but I do enjoy Tristan Wirth. I love his narration. I love his storytelling as far as his battles that he's had with the defensive ends, defensive tackles. Because Tristan Wirth is one of my high, highest rated players for sure. Because he's so young. He's so big. So athletic. It'd take a fucking miracle for him not to have a Hall of Fame career. So to hear the way that he speaks so early in his career, I fucking enjoy it, eh? Or somebody giving you a power rush from, you know, a wide nine ain't very fun. Cameron Jordan, he pushes Tristan Wirfs right back into Brady's lap. Oh! Him with this swim move on the outside. Bam, knocks his hands down. A lot of pass rushes, they're so sack hungry that they can sacrifice the run sometimes. Bam! But he's phenomenal in stopping the run. Cam Jordan's good a run defender that you're going to find. Another just high football IQ guy that understands different pass sets and angles. The way he played it is perfect. No. Play with me. Once you're unblocked, you know you have to look back down inside. You can look this up in the dictionary, but that's exactly how you play it. Uh, I got drafted to play more of an interior D lineman position. I made myself an end, so I think about where the running back's going to be or where the offensive lineman is trying to lead this play away from more than where the quarterback's going to be off of a play-action pass. I'm trying to get to that backfield for this TFL first. And then we work off a of pass rush. He's very good at stopping the run and then reacting to play-action pass. He gets a lot of sacks on play-action pass as well. And Drew keeps it rolls to his right. Did not fool Cam Jordan. In 2022, Jordan became the Saints' all-time career leader in sacks. Cam Jordan trying to burnish what will be a Hall of Fame resume in his 12th season. I'm trying to hit rare. You can be good. You can be great. You can be legendary. But somewhere in there, you can be rare. Elite, legendary, rare. Rare encompasses all of it. I'm trying to be rare. Well, Cameron Jordan, you're certainly rare among the uh, New Orleans Saints alumni. Very rare, in fact. 115 and a half sacks. So just to confirm, Cameron Jordan has not played a single postseason game pro football reference let's have a look okay no here we go he has played a playoff game or two 2011 2013 17 18 19 and 20 and his final postseason game he lost to tom brady and the tampa bay buccaneers and in that year tampa bay went on to win the super bowl so i don't blame him but you'd have to be pretty gutted i mean the guy deserves a super bowl if nothing else he deserves a super bowl and it was interesting to hear how he uh, he has transformed his game from being an interior lineman to an outside lineman, which means that, you know, he, he's uh, more of a dynamic player, you know, can can break up, well, pretty much everything. Very, very impressive. And what's what's even more impressive, to be honest, in my opinion, is, is the fact that he has simply not aged. This photo is 10 years ago, guys. That's amazing. Either way, the last thing we do in these videos is place a selected player into a rugby team if they were to want to play and, and, and suit up and, and give it a crack. And in this case, Cameron Jordan, with the size and athletic ability that he has, and that all of these players have, to be quite honest with you, but uh, look, I'd put him in the forwards, and I'd put him in, quite simply, at number eight. A hybrid between the forwards and the backs, and that's pretty much what, what an end is, a defensive end, or even a tight end. It's a hybrid between the linemen in American football, which is the equivalent of the forwards, and the backs, or um, the... Uh, the uh, the linebackers, the the defensive backs, it's a hybrid, right? 
they do have ability to play both probably would have the ability to play both not quite the body type or speed to, to be a legitimate defensive back or linebacker but certainly just that little bit more athletic uh, a bit faster than your classic lineman and then your classic um, front rower so I'm going to put him in at number eight take the ball off the back of the scrum lower your shoulder and fucking boom like I'd love to see this guy run with the ball right as a defensive player doesn't get too many opportunities unless it's an interception or a pass deflected but even then he's going to be surrounded by a lot of players whereas at the back of a scrum if you take it you're going to have at least you know 10 meters or 10 yards in front of you to sort of do something with and uh, I'd love nothing more than to see him take the ball off the back of a scrum and go rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling down the field. Either way, those were my thoughts. Thank you for watching, guys. We are into this now. And in the next one, we are looking at none other than Patrick Sertain II. He's done what his father could never do and make the list. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.